It's Mr. Pop Culture, the only instant history touch keypad. Right here, covering the years 1955 through 2013. This is total immersion. You can see content, images, and videos from each one of these years in separate timelines. It's total immersion and it's instant. So let's go to the year 2005. Some of, some of you like to call it 2005. You're going to notice four separate timelines. The first timeline being music videos, entertainment, Hollywood info, trends. Okay, as we scroll down, the second timeline will be the year 2005 and news headlines. Third uh, timeline, year 2005 in technology, and the fourth timeline, year 2005 in sports. And we like to mix it up with other fascinating facts. Now you can click or you can touch any one of these and it'll go right to January, that respective timeline. So in the news headlines, you, you can see here it goes to January 1st, 2005. But we're going to do it another way here. We're going to immerse ourselves. This whole year, we're going to go through each timeline and read this like a book. Now, you'll notice in the entertainment section up here, we uh, love to include the top pop hit music singles in video form. So, for example, January of 2005, Let Me Love You by Mario was a big pop hit music single. So, you touch on that and listen to the song and read the news as you listen. This is kind of cool. See, January 2005, Phil Spector in the news, Don Kirshner, Ozzy Osbourne. This is interesting. Shrek 2 did the biggest U.S. box office business in, 20, in 2004, followed by uh, Spider-Man. Love to include those uh, kind of headlines. Uh, let's see, more January two, uh, 2005 news. The American Music Awards, Sugar Land and Kelly Clarkson leading. Michael Jackson, February 2005. Paul McCartney performs at the Super Bowl halftime show. Martha Stewart, fresh out of prison. Back on television. Goodbye, Sandra D. Peter Thompson commits suicide in February 2005. Grammy Awards, Record of the Year. Here we go again. Ray Charles, Norm Jones. Blink 182. I'm going to take a hiatus. Candy Shop 50 Cent, a big pop hit music single in February 2005. And on we go through the Academy Awards into April. Britney, always in the news. And we scroll through June. American Idol, big, big news as Carrie Underwood wins American Idol in 2005. And her first, well, her first hit uh, song, Inside Your Heaven, in June of 2005. Luther Vandross passed away in July of 2005. And that big Live A concert had happened in July of 2005. Pussycat Dolls. Howard Stern getting ready to leave Terrestrial Radio, and they're naming his replacement on certain stations in Los Angeles. Look like it looks like Adam Carolla is going to replace him. Dick Clark and Ryan Seacrest set to co-host the uh, 34th edition of Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve at the end of this year in 2005. Emmy Awards into September. Gilligan passes away. MTV Video Music Awards. Green Day gets the video of the year. Into October Entertainment for 2005. CMA Awards. Keith Urban gets Entertainer of the Year. And through December. And now, timeline number two. News headlines of 2005. Follow the news with photos and videos. All in timeline context. State of the Union, President Bush. Here's an evening newscast with Dan Rather. Or Martha Stewart. Now she gets out of prison. Ah, yeah. Scott Peterson in March of 2005. He's convicted of murdering his wife, Lacey and unborn son. Meanwhile, uh, 
Robert Blake is acquitted in the shooting death of his wife in March of 2005. Pope News in March of 2005, rather April of 2005. Ah, uh, the bride who split from her wedding. That was an interesting story. A lot of media coverage in 2005. Is, if you remember, if you don't, you can read about it right here. Oh, uh, yeah, Deep Throat <laughs> of Watergate. That was an interesting story. Here in June of 2005, Michael Jackson is acquitted on all counts of child, child molestation and conspiracy. And uh, conspiracy trial. Good news for Michael Jackson back in 2005. Probably the biggest story of the year right here in August of 2005, Hur Hurricane Katrina and all the damage it caused New Orleans and all the Gulf states and towns down there. Yeah, here it is. September. And through the news of October into November of 2005. Okay, and into technology year 2005. You follow this. There you go. Uh, Google introduces a map service and lets you search for address, address and local business uh, listings. Looks like the Blu-ray HD DVD format's going to win out over the other one. Blu-ray happening in 2005. Netscape 8.0 was released. Never met uh, Netscape, the other browser. Apple News, of course, or Apple. And finally, the year two, uh, 2005 in sports news and other fascinating facts. Of course, baseball and steroids in the news back then. Uh, the Super Bowl. The Pats do it again. Barry Bonds. Uh, Jack FM, if you... Uh, if you live anywhere near it, well, I'll tell you what, Jack FM actually, uh, you know, it doesn't, uh, as far as radio formats, it's hard to create actually a brand new radio format that works, but Jack FM's been working all along up in Canada and is now spreading to the U.S. Jack FM, look for it on an FM station near you. Stanley Cup, well, there was no hockey this year, there was a big strike, so no Stanley Cup in 2005. Manny Ramirez of the Sox. It's his 20th career Grand Slam. Boy, was he hot in 2005, huh? Dr. Phil in the news up here. Hmm. I'd forgotten about that. Well, that's it. 2005, as you immerse yourself here in videos and content and images. Year 2005, big movie that year, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And Mariah Carey, she was hot on the pop charts in 2005 and beyond. We belong together. 2005, thanks a whole bunch for stopping by. This is MrPopCulture.com.